right, thank you, DJ Damage. Spinning tunes for us all hour long. Well, this New York singer and songwriter has been making us sweat since the 80s. Listen. And his hits just keep on coming. Most recently, he's been on the charts with his Billboard number one R&B single, Lay You Down. Take a look. I just want to lay you down. I'm so into you. Make love I will do. All right, prepare yourself because up next, he is getting a special honor in his hometown tomorrow so please welcome to the show keith sweat good morning, good morning sir great to have hey, you up? here thank you so much i appreciate that i mean your voice is undeniable what has it been like <laughs> over all these years the fans they have not gone anywhere they are still there for you right i mean it's amazing for me to be still doing what i've been doing all these years uh and still have the people uh still love what i do so yeah. I'm, I'm happy uh i'm blessed to be still in this game. It's a hard game to be in, but I'm still in it. Do you remember your first song on the radio? Yeah, yeah it? definitely. I wanna. Yeah. Oh, I, wanna. I heard that I went crazy, you know, cuz you know when you when you work so hard to get to a certain point in life and then you finally hear a, a song that you've been working so hard to yeah. you you know I've been working so hard musically to get to a certain point and then you finally hear your song on the radio. It's an amazing feeling. Yeah. 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 And to have the longevity Right. In your career. Definitely. I mean, what's it take? It takes a lot of work. Not a little, little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> a little sleep and a lot of work. And looking fly, because let's talk about the uh, suit for a second. This, I this know. is a nice little mint green you got going oh, on yeah, here. You know, Emerald City. I got yeah. it. With the shoes, with the matching shoes. Emerald City. You got the whiz. Uh, oh, all right, so we just heard your single, Lay right. You Down, and you have more new music coming out. Right, I have new music coming out. You know, uh, I work, I'm always in the studio, so. Yeah. I, I all I do is write, write, write. I've written for a lot of people. The OJs, name it, I've written for them. So mm. um, all I do is just write music and write songs and record. Wow. Let's talk about what's happening tomorrow. Because tomorrow's a big day. Rise up, NYC. Right. You're gonna be alongside the mayor, celebrating a whole bunch of things. Uh, how you kind of got pulled into that, and why you want to be part of it? Well, you know, I get the key to the city. Yeah. So that's, that's awesome. Gonna, Congratulations. That's, you know, I worked. Hey, the work paid off. So I, they giving me my flowers out. You know, I was born on 125th Street right. between Morningside and Amsterdam, two blocks away from the Apollo. So I get to perform in front of the Apollo for all my fans, all my friends, and I get to look two blocks down and look at where I grew up at. Cause, because I used to walk down the street and look at the marquee and look at Gladys Knight and the Pips and James yeah. Brown and say maybe one day I'll be there. And it's happening. Here you are. Right. What do you think about the changing evolution, I guess, of the city? It has changed. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, it's a good thing, you know, as long as the improvements are, are made. I need to come back home and buy some real estate now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, right? But when you come back, though, like you said, you walk into your neighborhood and you see the things that you looked at as a kid. You're, you're an inspiration to a lot yeah, of the kids that live you. there now, thank you, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of people, I'm thinking about going back to the apartment I grew up in once I leave and knock on the door uh, and, and and just ask the, pay, pay, the lady, can I come in and see where I used to live? You should. You know, I did it, but somebody lost the footage. I did it years ago, but somebody lost the footage of that foot. And I, I hate that they lost the footage. Yeah. So I, I want to do it again, go well, back. Well, Keith goes knocking on the door. I'm sure they're going to say, come I on I hope in. they let me yeah. in this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I think a lot of people, besides tomorrow where you'll be performing, I think some folks are wondering, are you going to come back? Is there any of Keith Sweat performances coming up in the future in this area? A tour. Well, I look. I, um, I have a, a Sweat Hotel tour going out, yeah. so I will be back eventually. But definitely tomorrow's my day to just show off and show out. Yeah. So I, I hope, hopefully, they'll let me stay on stage as long as I, I want to, cause <laughs> yeah. I have a whole lot of hits. <laughs> and just real quick, you're going Hollywood. What's this uh, well, about I, a movie? I, <laughs> well, I do. A, I've been executive producing a few movies. So. Wow. Uh, I'm working on a few Trouble Man. Uh, you know, I do the sound, did the soundtrack for that. Uh, right. I executive produced, you know, one or two movies. You know, uh, Stepmother one and two. Uh, 
I'm working with Darren Henson, who's on a family business. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're, we're doing Wonderful. something together as well. I'm an executive producer on that. So. Nice. Well, yeah, congrats. We got one of our own family members part of that show. Sean um, Ringgold's part of that show okay, as well. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. So I'm doing some, Good. some amazing things. Hopefully, you know, they'll take off like this, like my singing career. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful having you here. Thank you for having me. Have a blast tomorrow. You hey, deserve I'm, it. I'm you going deserve to it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Thank the Sweat so Hotel Tour starring Keith Sweat and special guests will kick off on August 23rd.